I'm a weird individual. I know this, I accept this. So it's only right that I make a video about my weird programming techniques. I have a few, maybe I'm putting this out there to help y'all, or maybe I'm putting this out there in case any of y'all do the same as me, and then it makes me feel a little bit less weird. Okay, so this is the opposite of weird programming technique. Uh, I just gotta say, I'm actually making this video as a way to procrastinate coding. Like I'm supposed to be working on the YouTube leaderboard right now and make a video for later this week, but I just, I don't know. I just wanna make a video instead of code right now. So that's what I'm doing. Kinda like how you're watching this video to procrastinate from your work. Hey, I don't know about y'all though, but it is funny how whenever I like really need to procrastinate, I always do something that is at least somewhat productive. Like. I'll clean my office, I'll take out the trash, I'll, I'll do something like that, or I'll make a video to procrastinate from coding just to make myself not feel so bad about procrastinating. That's kind of weird. Does anyone else do that? Eh, whatever. So there is this weird programming technique that I have. It, it kind of occurs in two separate scenarios. One is when I'm stuck on a particular coding problem, and the other is when I need a little push to get started on a project. Like I know what I need to work on, I know I need to code, but I just kind of procrastinated a little bit. Instead, I should probably do this one thing in order to help me get started or like I said in the first scenario, get unstuck. Basically, I watch a video of someone doing something similar to what I need to do or, or to what I'm stuck on and that's it. I, I don't sit here and try to follow along or anything. I sit back, relax on the couch, throw it up on the TV or maybe on my monitor. I casually just sit through it, watch it, and hope something clicks. Like, oh, maybe I can do it that way. Or maybe I noticed something that I forgot to add into my code and that's probably why it's not working. Then I have all of these ideas running through my head, so I boot up, I try them, and then that's when that 15 minutes quickly turns into three hours. I've accomplished the hurdle of just getting started and hopefully I have gotten unstuck from whatever problem I was facing before. It's kind of a random tip that I don't know if it'll work with everyone else because typically when i give advice it's it's what works for me but it's also what aligns with the industry standard i, I feel like a lot of people think similar to how i think except in this case I, maybe i'm wrong feel free to try it out and that's that another weird technique that i actually just thought of this morning the other one i already had planned out but i just thought of this morning is that whenever i i'm closing up for the day this weird technique is writing or recording since i'm a big in video but writing or recording my thought process as i'm finishing up i did this back when i coded every single day and i do this now especially since i only code maybe around once a week the biggest reason for this is to help soften that uh, 30 minute buffer that it takes me to get going and get in the groove and it also helps break down that barrier to get started i know y'all have been in the scenario where you just hop back into your code it could literally be the next day but especially when it's a week later you don't exactly remember where you left off but just think about if you could ask your past self wait where were we that's exactly what these logs are for so if you write it down or you record where to go next when it's fresh in your brain you won't have that problem of forgetting where you left off i actually kind of just completely forgot to finish that thought process when actually recording so this is just an editor's note and you may think well if you finish up one task the day before and then the next day you're working on a completely different task and that doesn't really matter that much right because you're not going to be working on the same thing so it's kind of different and i agree it's kind of different but something that i also do is if i have a task that i know i'm going to be working on the next day or the next week when i'm in that programming mindset as in i just finished up a task i push it up to github and that's that i will look at the task and try to figure out how to go about it i know i'm not going to work on it right now because i'm finishing up for the day but i want to figure out how to go about it and i will write that down in my notebook for tomorrow or i will open up obs if i feel like it's a little bit more intricate and i need some some visual guidance obs is my recording software for those who may be confused and ultimately that weird coding technique has just become part of my process at the end of each coding day it's what i do and it allows me to, to just break down that barrier of getting started and getting going the next time i sit down to code this is definitely going to be a shorter video but in all honesty, I've just been caring less and less about what I post on this channel. I used to be like, oh, it's gotta be about this. It's gotta be this long and and, and just like this. Eh, whatever. Whenever something pops to my mind, I like to make a video about it and send it out to y'all now. <laughs> Subscribe if you aren't already. And if you are, can you click the bell to turn it on, not to turn it off? I'd appreciate it. And uh, I think that's all I have to say on the matter.